So we are so excited to have Rochelle here um, because we, yeah, we just love her oh, so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you can see she's in her, um, in her, at her office. So you can see all the beautiful linens behind her. So, okay. Obviously, yes. <laughs> so Rochelle, tell us, tell us who you are, obviously, and who you're with. <laughs> My name is Rochelle. I'm with Elegant Linens and Rentals. I'm the owner of it. And basically, I'm a small company that rents out tablecloths, chargers, napkins, um, chair covers, specialty linens, basically everything you need for your table setting. Um, I do not do centerpieces and I don't do dishes, but I have wonderful people to refer you to if you need those items. Yeah. I'm Elegant Linens and Rentals, and we have a showroom in Nixa. And I do share the showroom with um, Jillian from Gloss Hair and Makeup and Tally and Jill from Archie and Bloom. So that's why I am. Perfect. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. I know um, this first topic was um, was important um, for you and for us to, uh, to share today. So let's go ahead and um, get started. I was trying to get the little um, with the importance of planning now. Um, there's been, you know, um, there's been a lot of questions, um, a lot of changes in the last, you know, couple months, which um, walking into the wedding season was a little a little crazy, not only, you know, for the couples that are planning, but also obviously for us as well. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about that. Yeah, sure. I mean, right now, I, I think everybody can agree where we are. We are in the unknown. Nobody knows when life is going to get somewhat back to normal. Um, and so I know there's plenty of brides out there that are probably discouraged by everything, but just want to let people know that we're our life's on pause right now, but it is going to start back up sometime. And yeah. I think right now is the best time to like start doing all those itty bitty things that might not be the most fun to do, but planning out your budget, planning out your guest list, um, planning with your vendors who you want to book. So when it is time to get back out there, you already know who you want, what you want, and so forth. Um, and also, if you're planning on getting married in the fall and you haven't booked people, you really need to start doing it right now because. All of my April and May have been booked for the fall or moved to next year. So it's booking season. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Which, you know, normally, um, you know, as far as um, all wedding professionals book at different times of the year. So obviously, you know, venues book, um, you know, different time than cake artists, different time than, you know, other things. So, um, but I do feel like right now with the changes that have happened um, and yeah, it, it is going to be a crazy um, end of summer and fall and, you know, and definitely 2021 already. So, um, and I think your points, um, as far as, you know, doing those things that, um, as far as, you know, planning the budget and, you know, getting a hold of wedding professionals so that you can start doing a lot of that groundwork now while you can, you know, yes, it's not everybody can meet, um, meet over the phone or meet in person, but, um, you know, what I love, you know, we've messaged all of the wedding professionals on Top Weddings, just how are you booking now? What does that look like? Are you, you know, are you doing FaceTime? Because all of us still want to, it's a great time for all of us um, because we have time on our hands. Exactly. Yes. I mean, you can see behind me, we can still plan out what you want, what you need, because I mean, with the joys of the internet, I'm able to send out pictures of things that I have. I mean, there's plenty of times where I've had out of town brides. I've never met them. And right. So we just do everything over email. So, um, yeah, I mean, even though we can't meet in person, still need to get everything planned. Like now's the best time because come July, August, all the wedding professionals that I know are going to be very busy. And, um, yeah, if they could just get the planning done now, it'll be much easier. So. Yeah. 
Um, and I do, I feel like, um, just like you said, I feel like there's, you know, we as, as wedding professionals have really had to look to say, okay, how can we do this different? Like, what does this look like now? And how can we help? Um, because, you know, there, there are a lot of couples out there that are planning. I mean, there, there just is. And just like you said, you know, for those ones who, um, are, you know, worried to take that leap right now. Um, there's still a lot of groundwork that you can be, you know, doing. It doesn't mean you have to, you know, sign contracts with everyone. Right. But you can get all of the, the you know, work. Yeah. Yes. yes. Basically everything up into the contract. Because um, yeah. I understand right now people are on budgets. I am one of them. Um, like I have a baby coming in July. And so I'm planning the nursery, but I can only do so much right now. Um, but as soon as I'm able to get out there and get things and my income is back to what it used to, you better believe I'm going to be knocking that out. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, um, and one of the things I can tell you that, you know, going forward, I feel like all wedding professionals are really trying to help obviously any couples that are having to change their date and, you know, and or postpone um, uh, for later, you know, in the year, but know that, um, that this is what we do, um, you know, all the time. This is, this is our, um, this is our business. I mean, this is, you know, so yes, with the changes that have happened, we're, there are so many amazing, amazing wedding professionals out there that no matter what, you know, they're going to make sure that they're, you know, doing their part in all of, in all of this, which I love. I mean, you know, the dedication, that's one of the biggest reasons why I love wedding professionals, because the dedication is just, it's there. And if they can do it, you know, obviously we can't break any laws. But, yes, um, but um, you know the commitment is is just there. So know that if you're working and and looking at wedding professionals, know that their commitment is going it's it's going to be there. So don't you know I don't want anyone to be scared of signing contracts or anything like that because at the end of the day we understand. I mean we understand that you know all of this has been out of you know, the couple's control out of control. No one's ever, huh? none of us have ever had to deal with this. No. Well, we're all on the same page as like, it's all brand new to all of us. And we're just trying to work together. And I mean, I know this is a special moment in everybody's lives, weddings. And so we want to make this as easy and pain free as possible. And at the same time, we want to make sure we're doing the best that we can for our own business. So yeah, encouraging couples that haven't booked to like start really looking into it like right now and couples that have already booked and are thinking about moving their weddings or who already have like we're there for you yes. we're gonna get through this yes so, yeah yeah and i know there's a lot of venues who are doing um you know if if they cannot do physical tours they're doing you know virtual tours there there's you know again um I feel like wedding professionals are just doing whatever, honestly, whatever it takes to help couples that, you know, that are planning right now. And I, so I don't, I think one of the biggest things that we can get across is we're all here. I mean, we're, you know, we are all, um, you know, we're, we're all ready. We're all, um, uh, we have time on our hands um, that, you know, the questions that you have and the, you know, can all be answered. Um, so don't, don't feel like you can't reach out right now or that, you know, Oh, well, I can't go physically meet them. They're figuring out other ways to be able to, to make that happen. And, um, and then, you know, if you've already talked to someone, whether it's phone or FaceTime or however, um, know that as soon as you have that chance that you can go in and sit down with someone, that's amazing. But just like Rochelle said, there's a lot of us, um, a lot of wedding professionals, especially on top weddings that have worked with 
out of town uh, right couples who are coming in destination that this is a this is a normal thing um, the way that you know that we're meeting with people so you know if you again if you are planning just know that this is a good time to get it as much of you as much as you can get it done um, because come you know once this gets done our schedules are going to be crazy i mean um you know just talking to everyone on, you know, everyone on top weddings you know we we just have some amazing amazing wedding professionals that are just jumping in and doing whatever whatever they can do um but i know you know um it's going to be crazy as soon as as soon as the the bands are lifted and and we can get to doing what we love. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too, that too. That's really, that's going to be a huge plus. But I know just talking to a lot of <laughs> a lot of top wedding professionals, it is um, we're missing the weddings. I mean, I oh my goodness, the you know this is. When we were knee deep in wedding season already, like this is, this is the time. And, and so it's been, you know, so know that, that we're all here and know that, that, um, and I'll, I'll pull a shameless plug. The great thing about top weddings. And I think about when we started it right now, you literally can get on and watch interviews. You, Yeah. Really, honestly, get on there. You can book your whole wedding with everybody. So, yeah, it's a great re resource. Yes, I did when I was getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Especially right now, you know, that's one of the things we keep on saying is you can do it from home. I mean, honestly, you can go learn about them and see photos and and not have to search and just um, yeah. So anyway, but yes, um, we just want you to know that that. Um, that man, we love you all. And for all of those couples that have had, you know, to reschedule, I just want to tell you from, from, I think all wedding professionals heart, you know, we, this day, yes. Um, the day that you have changed your date to, um, know that it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be perfect. And, you know, um, with all things, not everything happens, um, the way you want it to sometimes, but you know, it's going to be amazing. I mean, you know, you've got wedding professionals, um, that are going to be jumping, um, jumping for joy exactly. that, um, going to be there at your wedding. And, and so just know that, you know, our heart is with you guys and just, um, don't let it get you get you down. Um, you know, if I could, if I could say, you know, just like Rochelle said, this is a, a different time for all of us, but you know, um, it's just a bump in the road. You're going to get past it. We're all going to get past it. And honestly, I mean, it might even make the big day even more special. Like everybody finally being together. It could be the first time people are getting together again. So yeah, it, it all sucks right now. It really does, but there is an end. Like there will be, the end will be here and it'll be not back to normal necessarily, but back to life. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I can tell you for me, um, if any, you know, and I think there's a lot of people out there, you appreciate, we will appreciate getting together right. so much more. Oh my goodness. Like that, that just became a new level uh, because none of us, you know, have ever went through this before. So um, just like you said, so yeah, I think you're going to find that people are humbly excited um, for, you know, to get, to get the family together and, and everybody together. So, so, um, okay. Is there anything else as far as that topic? <laughs> just stay positive. We'll get through this. Just like high school, high school musical says we're all in this together. Yes. <laughs> so true. 